How is it going, everyone? We are officially in January, and that means we're gonna have a bevy of new games to check out on our Steam Deck, and I want to go over 10 titles that you should have on your radar. Now, all of these games are not Steam Deck verified. They are titles that I assume are going to be playable on the deck, and I think most likely they're going to be playable on the deck. So, no Dead Space remake here, no Forspoken here. We'll have to see when those games come out and see if they can run on the deck. You know, I'm pretty surprised Callisto Protocol can run on the deck, so maybe those games will be able to be runnable on the deck, but those games are true next-generation titles. They're not seeing, like, PS4 and Xbox One releases, so we'll see about those when they do drop. Nonetheless, let's get right into it and let's start things off with one title that I think a lot of people are going to play on their deck and that's to mimic the original release's experience and that is Persona 3 Portable. Now, I know Persona 3 had its PS2 release and then Persona 3 FES, which I think a lot of people would have preferred to see Persona 3 FES here instead of P3P. Nonetheless, Persona 3 Portable is still pretty solid and when it comes to Persona, these games are just fantastic JRPGs from a narrative standpoint, a character standpoint, point they are really really well made games and you can go with Persona 3 you can go with Persona 4 you can go with Persona 5 as the best Persona title it's really uh, anyone's guess Persona is kind of like Fallout in that a lot of people uh, consider Persona to start with Persona 3 nonetheless Persona 1 and 2 did exist Persona 3, very nice to see that the game is going to be readily accessible, and again, I think having this on the deck is going to be great. Of course, P4 Golden and P5 Royal, both playable on the deck right now as well. Next up, another JRPG, One Piece Odyssey, I think is going to be a great game to check out on the deck. I'm not a big One Piece guy, but... I try to take it from the viewpoint of if there was a game revealed that would have been a Naruto JRPG like One Piece Odyssey is with this new story and iconic moments from Naruto, I would be incredibly excited about it. So kind of to mimic those that are big One Piece fans, I can see why they are incredibly excited about it. I am definitely going to be checking this game out. Look, I have a ton of friends that are super, super into One Piece. It wasn't the anime that I really watched growing up, nor do I really watch it now, but I hear amazing things about it so you know 900 episodes or whatever it is is just a little bit too much of an undertaking for me but to have a traditional jrpg with a one piece coat of paint on it i think that's going to be pretty interesting and maybe it'll be a game that some people check out and that'll get them more into one piece because i know a lot of people just like playing various jrpgs well this is another one and it's with an iconic ip one piece odyssey is due out on january 12th next up here's a game that just definitely deserves more attention and that is a space for the unbound i think this is going to be a great game on the deck. Uh, a slice of life adventure game with beautiful pixel art set in the late 90s rural Indonesia that tells a story about overcoming anxiety, depression, and the relationship between a boy and a girl with supernatural power. So tackling some heavy themes there but an interesting narrative-driven title as well, and it's totally a throwback to the 90s. Let us take you to Indonesia in the late 90s, explore rural Indonesia, and enjoy its relaxing atmosphere with a hint of supernatural events, chat and interact with other townsfolk, and listen to their personal stories, dive into people's mind inception style. And if you're a fan of games with a throwback visual style and narrative-driven, this is definitely one to keep on your radar. A Space for the Unbound will be dropping January 19th. Next up, we have Atone, Heart of the Elder Tree, a game that is Norse mythology-inspired hand drawn game that blends interactive storytelling and complex puzzle with a rhythm combat game system inherit the role of a young warrior named Estra as she journeys through Midgard to unveil the truth behind her father's death. Game notes, it's story-rich, puzzle-based, and it will have an emphasis on its music as well, so pretty interesting. Really cool art style as well, super unique in that regard, so We'll see how this one turns out. Atone Heart of the Elder Tree will be dropping on January 27th. Next up, those of you that are fans of Spongebob, Spongebob Squarepants, the Cosmic Shake will be dropping at the end of January on January the 31st. The game notes, wish granting mermaid tears in the hands of Spongebob and Patrick. What could go wrong? Sure, the very fabric holding the universe together could come undone, opening portals into wild wish worlds, but that's nothing our favorite sponge can handle with the right cosmic costume. Obviously, Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated came out a couple years ago, and that was received incredibly well. I mean, you kind of have to have that nostalgia for for Spongebob, I feel, to enjoy the game or just be a fan. 
and I am, so that game was right up my alley. Obviously, it wasn't a perfect game, but it was an enjoyable game for what it was going to uh, going for, and I think the Cosmic Shake is going to be very much like that as well. It drops again January 31st. Next up, if you're a fan of shoot 'em ups Raiden 4 X Mikado Remix is one that you want to have on your radar. Buckle up and blast off with Raiden 4 X Mikado Remix. The classic arcade shoot 'em up comes fully equipped with new music, battle modes, vertical screenplay, and more. Obviously, going to be a throwback shoot 'em up style experience the return of this classic arcade shoot 'em up as Raiden 4 X Mikado Remix soars onto PC. Enjoy an exhilarating lineup of content, including brand new levels, combat modes, playstyles, and more. This sci fi shooter launches gameplay to new heights with a remastered soundtrack and the addition of vertical screenplay, allowing players to capture the original arcade experience like never before. This one also drops at the end of the month on January 31st. Next up, another low-key release here and a bullet hell action title, Lone Ruin. Venture into an old magical ruin to seek an ancient power in this highly replayable roguelike twin-stick shooter. Optimize spells and build ultimate combos to defeat twisted monstrosities and delve deeper into the Lone Ruin. An ancient city enveloped by magic, what once was a buzzy civilization and people living in harmony with magic surrounding them has long since been driven mad and twisted beyond recognition by the very magic that used to help sustain them. What could have corrupted this city? Having heard the legend, you, a gifted spellcasting explorer, arrive at these hostile ruins a millennia later with the goal of seeking this ancient power and finally cleansing the city of the corruption it was consumed by all those years ago. The answer probably lies in the center of Lone Ruin if you can make it there. Again, another action-heavy twin-stick bullet hell shooter, Lone Ruin, will be dropping on January 12th. Next up, we have a narrative-driven title, another one, Season A Letter to the Future. Leave home for the first time to collect memories before a mysterious cataclysm washes everything away. Ride, record, meet people, and unravel the strange world around you. Immerse yourself in the world of Season, a third-person atmospheric adventure bicycle road trip game. This is one with a very, very cool look to it, a bit of a vibrance going on for it, incredibly colorful in this that regard the gameplay focuses on exploring recording meeting people and unraveling the strange world around you each recording tool captures a different layer sounds and music art and architecture the stories of characters living through pivotal moments your tools peel back these layers until you grasp the culture history and ecology underneath everything this quest leads you to the big question what is this season why is it ending and what will the next season bring season a letter of the future drops at the end of the month january 31st next up we have children of silent town children of silent town is a dark adventure game that tells the story of lucy a girl growing up in a village deep in a forest inhabited by monsters people disappearing is nothing uncommon here but this time lucy is old enough to investigate this on her own or so she thinks a darker vibe going on for it for sure story driven as well lucy is afraid of the forest just like any other child every night the echoing roars rob her of her sleep not even her dreams are a safe place where she can play people disappearing is nothing uncommon it's a point click adventure game telling a mysterious and endearing story explore the town and its dangerous surroundings meeting its quirky inhabitants Children of Silent Town drops on January 11th. And lastly, we have Superfuse. This is an over-the-top action title that I think more people need to have on their radar. An alien threat looms in a new comic book-inspired early access action RPG. Take on waves of grotesque minions with up to four friends in co-op or go it alone and uncover a vast conspiracy that endangers all of humanity. Become a hero in a world where superpowers are controlled by society's elite. Definitely got that comic book look going on for it, as I noted. A hack-and-slash action RPG with the ability to hyper tailor your power set based on your playstyle, pick and fuse the skill sets of your choice, and demolish hordes of grotesque abominations alone or with up to three friends. Choose between two character classes, optimize your perfect hero, play the campaign solo, offline, or build a hero for online four-player PvE, drop-in and drop-out co-op play, experience fast-paced, heart-pounding action, and uncover a hidden conspiracy among the echelons of humanity and an alien menace on a dark comic book adventure packed with twists and turns. Superfuse is scheduled for release on January 31st, and by the way, that last day of the month packed with new game releases, so that's going to be a little bit of a busy time, but that is going to do it for me. Again, if you have a Steam Deck, a lot of titles to be excited about that you can enjoy in the month of January. I plan on doing this series monthly, and again, we're going to avoid mentioning games like a Dead Space remake, like a Forspoken, since that's more of a wait-and-see approach, in my opinion, when you have, you know, games that are next-generation exclusive, really... Um, you know, at a higher level from a technical standpoint, I don't want to mention those just because 
who, who knows how those games are going to run? Forspoken can't even maintain a full 60 frames per second on PlayStation 5 in its performance mode. So, yeah, bear that in mind. That's why that's not mentioned. Dead Space Remake ain't going to be mentioned. I'll definitely check them out on the deck. We'll see how they run, and then I'll get back to you guys on that one. But that's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out